friends, Eric Andres, your guitar sage here, and today we're going to be learning the basic fretting technique that every guitar player since the beginning of time must learn in order to play every genre, every solo, every everything. There's just a few things that we really need to think about when we're talking about fretting, and if we practice these few things right in the beginning, you'll never have to think about them again, and you can play effortlessly just like your favorite guitar player. But if you don't practice these things in the beginning, if you don't hyper-focus on them, and there's only a few of the, few things here to remember, if you don't do this, then you're just going to have issues with everything. You're not going to know why. So, important that you know these. So let's go over them. And by the way, this is part of the first 30 lessons that I teach all my students here in Nashville. Make sure you take advantage of that. That link's below. It's a free course, and I developed it for folks that were asking all these questions, and I wanted to provide... Uh, the whole enchilada form and obviously in this case we're just talking about one particular thing but if you want to check all those videos out the link is below and it's free okay so here we go we're going to talk about the basic fretting technique so um so when we're talking about fretting we're talking about taking our fretting hand whether that's left or right hand doesn't matter and we're talking about using our fingers to press down the string in order uh, pressing it down onto the fret in order to change the pitch so when we pick a string, it's vibrating between the nut and the bridge. But when we press our finger down on a fret or next to a fret, what happens is now the string is vibrating between the fret and the, and the bridge. And so it shortens the string length and it raises the pitch. Okay, so that's why we're doing this. Now, first off, you don't want to play right on top of the fret. You want to play right behind the fret. Okay, so there's three or four things here that we got to know. That's the number one thing, playing right behind the fret. Check this out. The further that I get away from the fret and I get towards the nut, the more I get that nasty sound, that muting sound or that buzzing sound. Okay, and that's with all these frets. It doesn't matter which one it is. Okay, so. With all that being said, the closer you are to that fret, the easier it is for you, okay? I always tell my students that because I don't want them to, to understand that it makes it easier. It's not some, you know, superfluous rule that I'm saying. It's important that you do this to make things easier, okay? So play close up to the fret. Play on your fingertips. So important that you play on your fingertips. And when we say fingertips, we don't mean this, even though for most people that's the fingertips. If you got that cut off, you'd say that's a fingertip. Don't get it cut off. But that's not, that's the pad of the finger. What I mean by the fingertips is when you look at your hand straight on like this, that's the fingertip, okay? Something that you could do that I do with all my students is I have them take a pen and draw a little dot on all four fingers, right, right at the, the uh, top like that. So this way when they are playing and they're looking down at their hand and they see that dot looking up at them like an eyeball, they know, hey, I'm doing wrong here. I need to be playing on my fingertip. Now, what does that require you to do? A few things. Some folks will say drop your shoulders. Some few folks will say get your hand out front, curl your, curl your knuckles, all the rest. That's one of my tricks is curl the knuckle. Um, but bottom line, whatever it takes, get that fingertip on that string. So important that you do that. Is it gonna hurt? Of course, it's gonna hurt a little bit because this is, these are new actions that you're doing. So they're definitely gonna hurt a little bit, but it's not like driving a spike through your forehead. It's more just like, oh, that hurts a little bit, you know? And over time, uh, you'll develop calluses and it'll get easier and easier. But for everybody from, since the beginning of time, Jimi Hendrix, Eddie Van Halen, it all hurts, okay? A little bit, so it's all right. Just know that that's gonna happen, okay? So um, playing on your fingertips, Super duper important. Playing right behind the fret, extremely, extremely important. Okay, now, uh, pressing down the right amount, obviously that's important too. So I could, be, I could be using my fingertips and be right here, right where I should be, not over the fret. That'll mute the sound, we don't want that, we wanna be right behind it. Huge difference, right? That sounds nice, that sounds nasty, that's what we want. But if I'm not pressing hard enough, I can still get that muted or buzz sound. So you want to make sure you're pressing down a little bit harder. For each fret, for the exercises, in fact, 
uh, for this particular exercise in that free course. I have a PDF for you to download and, and uh, print up or do whatever, add to your, your guitar handbook. Um, and it will help with this exercise. And the exercise goes one, two, three, four. Okay. Important that you use all four of your fingers. So when you're practicing, especially in the beginning, the pinky is super duper lazy. Everybody's pinky is lazy. Then this guy, a little bit less lazy. Then this guy is pretty cool. And the first finger is pretty cool. That's how it works with everybody. You got to get used to it. Practice by doing these exercises. So you got to work three and four a lot. So the other tip is, uh, make sure you're pressing down hard enough and you're using all four fingers okay gotta work them now um the last uh, the last bit that you need to do uh really it's kind of twofold one and you'll see this written in the um in the materials that are in the, the free 30 lessons is you want to take your thumb and you want to drop it behind the back of the neck okay and this, what this allows you to do is it allows you to, to bring your hand out front so that you can play chords cleanly instead of like this, where I'm muting a bunch of notes. Notice I'm not doing that much different, just curling my knuckle and providing some space right here between the palm and the, and the guitar neck, okay? So that's an important bit. Is it going to feel awkward? Yes, it is. A little bit like walking on stilts because... You're not used to picking things up like this. We're used to palming things. We put them in our palm like that, as opposed to doing things like this. It's very um, alien to us. But with time, you'll get it. And also with time, you'll learn how to cheat, where you can bring your thumb up here and still be able to play. And one of those techniques that will allow you to cheat a little bit is what I call the curled knuckle technique, what I call the holy grail, and the most important technique um, after all of this. And what that does is, uh, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to take your hand in the air, you're going to look at it, and you're going to curl those knuckles, just like if you were going to karate chop something, hi -ya. then that last knuckle is going to be white. You want to be able to curl it as much as possible. Super important because when you've got that hand on the neck like this, even if you were to have your thumb up here, not that I suggest that for beginners, I suggest you keep your thumb down, but later on for more advanced players, you could keep your thumb up here as long as that knuckle is curled, you'll be able to clear all the strings. So curl that last knuckle when you're playing your chords, you'll notice if you're touching a string, you might be able to feel it, or when you play through the chords slowly, you'll be able to hear if a note's being muted, you'll be able to see, oh, I'm not curling my knuckle enough, and then you'll be able to curl your knuckle. Make sense? All right, that's it, my friends. Um, I've got more detail, even on this particular video, in the first 30 lessons that I teach all my students along with the 30 most important lessons that every guitar player needs to know. Visit me here in Nashville or click on that link below. Uh, much easier to do that, obviously. It'll save us both time and energy. Um, click on that link below. Would love to help you out. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you like my videos. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and all that great stuff. And I would love to help you out with any guitar needs that you have. So please follow and let me help you. Um, please, spay and neuter your animals, be kind to one another, and don't trust the man.